gentlemen, thank you so much for spending some time with me today, and thank you for all your work on the show. What what does it feel like to you know still have that love and support from from the fans, from the community, uh, for the for the Proud family? Well, I think we're just super happy and appreciative that you know, look, we do this, you know, hopefully to make people happy, and to hear how happy the people are, especially today when we had uh, our panel today and mm -hmm. all those wonderful responses we yeah, got people to, great questions and stuff we, we we recognize that the audience really watched the show and uh and really have a deep investment in all of our characters so they're willing to go on the ride with all the amazing stories that we're going to tell yep so we're, we're we're above the moon as they say beyond the moon yes. when it comes to storytelling how do you guys decide on maybe what is important for this episode or next episode to to tackle and in the mix of all the fun that all the characters have together Listen, man, that was just like when Rick, when Ralph and I first huddled, when they said, okay, we're going to do these new, you know, this version of Proud, we just huddled and talked about subject matter that we thought we'd like to see. Yeah. You know, and then uh, that's all you got to do was Ralph just drop seeds, and then Ralph goes to work. So so that's what we did. We did a lot of seed dropping for, you know, a few months, and then I started doing a lot of sketches, creating new characters, and then Ralph would come in and say, hey, let's do this. I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. Here's this. You know, so we just had this really great exchange first time around, and and then all of a sudden we started bringing on the staff and really started to realize these stories to the fullest. Yeah, on the writing side, you know, we, we have the seeds of certain concepts we want to explore, and then we start chatting it up with the writers, and, and then it filters through our collective uh, uh, experience and life, if you will, and then we start coming up with these unique takes on how, how to do these stories. In some cases, we would get the unexpected and this is an example of how things have changed, certainly from being on the Disney Channel. We get, hey, would you guys consider doing a Juneteenth episode? Boom. Okay. We'll, all right, we'll do that. that we, we would love to tackle that. We've never gotten a request like that. That would normally, that, that wouldn't come down. So that's how that particular episode happened. But it was something we certainly wanted to do and had anticipated doing. So it's a... Uh, 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 it's, uh, and we're not afraid yeah. to lean into, you know, very dark spaces. Just think about it, right? In, in, in our history, in the United States, that's a very dark space. But again, it's the way the show's set up, it's the tone of the show that, a lot, that the studio knows that we can handle, you know, very dark places, you know. Yeah. At the end of it, there's a feeling of we're in this together and, and let's embrace and support one another you know no matter your point of view so that that's where we come from how, how nice is it to have a cast that's so passionate about each of their characters and, you know just want to come back and keep doing it and keep doing more well i think it's a you know you got a, a huge shout out to our cast man they're amazing like who knew where if and ever we were going to come back but for whatever reason each one of our cast members sound exactly the same and, uh, yo, I, I think that, that that's just, you know, um, that's just the spirit of, of the Proud family that was just moving and waiting and the timing is everything. And I think, you know, with that, they were all 100% in on really making the best possible version of our show. Yeah, and that's how, look, not, that's because this show is important. And the cast treats it with that reverence. They, they welcome the opportunity. From the very beginning, everybody came and embraced and did this show beyond the amount of money they were being paid, beyond anything. They knew they just wanted to do a show that spoke to the themes that we were speaking to. And so when we came back, they, they came with the same passion, the same incredible talent, which is now even bigger and better 20 years later. And, and you're seeing the result of that. And plus, you know, we just had a lot of fun in the studio. We're like, you know, we, we get in and, and they know that they're responsible for crafting their characters just like we are. So they really invest heavily in making their character pop on screen. And, uh, and they know the results are going to be fantastic. So they really, you know, they're, they're heavily invested just like we are. Yeah, I mean, Kyle Pratt is genius, you know, like, and so is Tommy and, and, and Joe Marie and, yeah. you know, and Paula J and, and everyone. And to be quite honest, and I'm, I'm going to say this out loud because on one level it's true, but on another level I know it's not true. They, you know, they approach it with the point of view that they would do this show for free. Okay, 
No. No, they won't because they're renegotiating their deal right now. But anyway. Kyla, Kyla looking at you crazy right now. <laughs> but but they, they do come with that passion. When we come and we record, the, the level of work they put in is beyond anything I've ever seen. You know. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. Appreciate okay. it. Thank All you. right, Joe.